This is experiment one, measurement, significant figures, and density. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is dimensions and area. And we are going to measure the page, the width, and the length. So we're going to use a ruler. So I will be using the uh, centimeter. So one centimeter, two, three, four, and so forth. So I'm going to put the centimeter at the bottom of the page and I'm measuring the width. So as you can see, it's in between 21 and 22. So now I'm reading it up to 21.2. So I'm sure of 21.6 or 7. So it's about 21.71. So that's the width of the paper. And actually, you can also do this at home. And then I'm going to measure the length. So I'm going to now put the ruler, the top, and then to the bottom, so I'm measuring the length of the paper to about 28. So it's not quite at point 0.1, so I would say it's 28.08. Okay, so that's the first part. And then you are going to convert, you're going to calculate the area of the page, which is the length times width, and then you write the correct units and significant figures. And then number three, which is actually I'm following this procedure, and you're gonna convert the area into units of English system. So that's it for part A, which is the page. So part B is about uh, now the beaker. So this is a glassware to measure the volume of a liquid and we are going to measure the height of the 250 ml beaker in metric units. So again the ruler, so I'm going to use again the centimeter over here. So basically the height, okay. So now I'm reading it and uh, so it's between 9 and 9.1. So I say it's 9.08. And you are going to convert this again into the English system. We're now doing uh, part two, which is the mass. And I'm going to measure the aspirin tablets as part A and then part B beaker. So we're going to do first part A. And this is the balance. And now it's zero. Right? And I'm going to put a weighing boat inside. This is the weighing boat. And it will register a weight. Since I don't really want the weight of the weighing boat, I'm just going to zero it. I press zero, and then again it's zero. So I'm going to add um, five aspirin tablets. So this is the aspirin tablets, right? So it's actually 325 milligrams of aspirin in here. So I'm going to add five of these. I added five tablets in the weighing boat. I'm gonna put it inside. So the weight is gonna be the weight of the five tablets. So write this down, please. It's 1.877 grams. And then you are going to calculate the mass 
of one tablet into the correct to the correct number of significant figures so you divide this by five you get the mass of one tablet So part B is now the mass of the beakers. Again, this is the same beaker, 250 mil beaker. So again, it's zero. I'm going to put it inside the balance. So the balance is the um, device to measure the weight of any sample, liquid or solid. So this one is an object. So we now have, I have the, um, so I closed this window, the door, and then now it's in the pan. So this is the weight of the beaker, which is 85.505 grams. And then the next step is to convert these into the English system. I will be doing now uh, part three, which is the volume. And the first part is gonna be dimensions and volume of a rectang rectangular container. So this is the um, rectangular container, and I'm gonna measure the inner um, length and width, and then the height. So I'm gonna use a ruler again And uh, so, so I'm using the centimeter, and this is about um, 2.71. And I'm gonna rotate it. The other side, it's about 2.70. And then uh, I'm gonna do now the height, which is about. 6.22. Two. So write that down, please. And then um, you're now going to determine the volume. By multiplying the length, the width, and the height, and then you're going to calculate the volume of that rectangular container and then um, determine the correct unit and then also the uh, number of significant figures. So the next part is, um, is part B and I'm going to be uh, putting water. So we're going to measure the volume using a graduated cylinder. So I fill it up with water. So I fill up the uh, rectangular container with water and now I'm going to pour the water into the 50 ml cylinder. So that we can measure the water, the volume of the water that I put in, it also corresponds to the volume of the uh, container. So I use a funnel so I don't spill it. And then now we're going to read the, um, the volume. And again, it's going to be uh, the lower meniscus. The volume of the water from the rectangular container after I poured it into the uh, 50 ml graduated cylinder is reading as 43.6 ml. Again, it's 43.6 ml.
So we're now uh, doing part four, which is the density. And I'm, we're going to measure density of a liquid, water, and, or ethanol, and ethanol. So the first part is I weigh a graduated cylinder. So I'm gonna use this balance because it's taller. So this is the um, uh, graduated cylinder. And then I'm gonna put it inside. So the weight is 28.733. So 28.733 is the uh, weight of the cylinder. So this is now the graduated cylinder. I put water. So it's 10.0 uh, uh, mil. And I'm gonna weigh this. So we're I'm determining, we're going to determine the density of the water. So I'm gonna put it inside the, um, the balance. So the weight is 38.629 38.629 grams the cylinder with water so i'm going to do now part four uh part b which is the um density of ethanol and I now have a graduated cylinder, 10 mil graduated cylinder in the balance. And the uh, weight is, so you can see I'm gonna move. So it's about 27.866 is the weight of the graduated cylinder, 10 mil graduated cylinder. And then I'm going to fill it up with absolute ethanol and then weigh again uh, with the ethanol, 10 mil of ethanol in the graduated cylinder. So I have here the absolute ethanol solvent and I already put 10 mil of this absolute ethanol in the cylinder, so exactly 10.0 ml. And then I'm gonna weigh the liquid and the graduated cylinder. So let's wait for a few minutes till it settle down. So it's about 35.713 grams. Oh, 35.714 grams. Oh, it changed again, so now it's 35.713 grams. That's the weight of the um, ethanol and graduated cylinder. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, determine the density. And then to the correct number of significant figure and correct units. So the first one uh, was water, and then the second one is now absolute ethanol, 100% ethanol. I'm doing now part four, which is density and uh, part B, part 4B, which is the unknown metal, density of unknown metal by water displacement. So first we're gonna weigh uh, the metal sample and I have assigned uh, unknowns A, B, C, D. And I'm gonna first weigh uh, sample A and if it's assigned for you, then you're gonna write, uh, you're gonna be responsible only for unknown A, if it's B and so forth. So this is uh, the sample metal unknown A. Put in the balance, wait for a few minutes or a few seconds, 
and the weight is 28.614 grams. Twenty eight point six one four grams for a known A. So again, I have the weighing boat, it's zero right now, and then this is going to be a known, this is a known B, and then put it inside. And then the weight is 14.127. So I take it out and then I'm gonna weigh the third sample which is unknown. Unknown C, they're not the same size. So this one is unknown C, is 28.584. So last sample, is unknown D twenty eight point seven one eight. So this is now um, a known sample, metal sample A, and I have here uh, the volume of the water that I put in the cylinder, so I have it as 30.0 30 mil, so that's the initial volume, and I'm going to put the sample slowly inside, so again, initial volume is 30. Point zero. Thirty point zero. So we're going to read the volume. It's now um, 34.8. So now I'm doing unknown B. So again, the initial volume is 30.0 mil. And then I'm going to put the sample inside so I can have a water, um, so I can measure the volume of the uh, metal by water displacement. So slowly, I just let it slide. Okay, so now it's uh, so lower meniscus, so it's 32, 32.2 is the volume of a known B after water displacement. That's the final volume. So now again, I have uh, unknown C. So initial volume again is 30.0 ml. And then I'm going to slowly slide it inside so I don't break the cylinder. All right. So that one actually almost the same and so the metal as you can see is at the bottom so once I put the metal it's gonna 
the volume will increase and the volume that is displaced is going to be the volume of the metal. So, so now we can read it and it's about 32.2. So now this is unknown D, the last sample, and then this is the metal. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Slide it slowly. Careful not to break the cylinder. Okay, so now I have the sample at the bottom, and then so we're gonna we're gonna read it. So it's about thirty-three point two. So take note that the last digit, which is point two, is an estimate.